Hey, this is Justin with DayTradeTheMarkets.com on March 14th, 2013. And I wanted to take just a real quick, real brief video, quick look at the gold market today. Uh, the index markets were pretty slow. Um, just, you know, obviously we, we knew we wanted to be on the long side. We're near all-time highs. So, uh, you know, just kind of grinded higher. There wasn't a lot to work with, probably with option expiration and that sort of thing. So I took a look, just take a look at a different market. Because so, sometimes when, when certain markets aren't moving, you might want to look to other markets. So here's a gold chart. This happens to be a two-minute chart. That's what I like to look at on gold. You could use this on anything from a 10-second chart to a... You know, you had a swing trading chart. It, it's really the same logic applies. But what we had here was, <clears throat> excuse me, we gapped down from from yesterday, and our first major structure was what we call a level three or extreme selling aggression bar. And what we typically know about extreme buying or selling aggression bars, level three bars, especially if they happen on the low of the day, is <clears throat> excuse me, the high or the low of the day. If there's follow through, it's a pretty good sign there's a, a vertical breakout type of a situation occurring. If there's not follow through and instead there's rejection and it, there's no follow through below and the high gets taken out and we get some full bars above the high, that's a very good indication, seven, eight times out of ten, that the low of the day is in place. You can compare that just you know to this level three bar that occurred on the high of the day. You see we got some follow through, the low held, pretty good indication of vertical move is in place. So that's kind of one of our first rules of thumb is we want to monitor these level three or extreme buying and selling aggression bars if they occur on the high or low of the day because whether there's follow through or rejection is giving us a very good indication as to the likely uh, next direction of the market. And if you're not familiar with some of the concepts I'm talking about or if you're relatively new to these videos, there's a link below here that says look at more videos and I think the one I did a day or two ago Ago was about building a chart piece by piece. That's going to really explain each of the individual pieces of this chart and how to make sense of that. So uh, you can really get a feel for how this can increase your edge and help you make a little bit better sense of the market. So again, rejection of this level three selling bar, pretty good indication that the market is likely to head higher. And so we, we often talk about what we call a level three reversal trade, where if you have a level three bar on the low of the day or the high of the day, but low of the day and it gets rejected, get some full bars above, trying to get long toward the high of that bar later on makes some sense. And you can see here we decelerated a couple times when that happened. And then when we made new highs, we broke out higher. We had this high velocity move and level three buying aggression bar. So again, when the market failed on this level three bar, got rejected and then we took off broke higher with a level three bar uh, level three buying bar it's a very good indication failure of of bears aggressive uh, <coughs> excuse me my voice is going aggressive bulls okay so then we want to ask ourselves again basically the same question and we have a, a little bit of more of an edge that we know we've had already already had rejection of this on the low can this low hold and can we take out this high okay now we we tested into this resistance here but then when we tested back into this high velocity move and toward the low of this level three buying aggression bar, we had a quick rejection. In other words, we tested into this uh, what we call low volume area, high velocity area. We tested into here and rejected a level three selling bar very quickly. So again, that's telling us with pretty good certainty this market wants to head higher. And you can see we had a little bit of trouble getting through these resistance areas a couple times, but we finally did and tested the high of this level three bar that, that got rejected very quickly. And if you if you look at how much white space you could say is, is on each side of, of this bar, that just shows really quick rejection of that bar as well. So again these level three bars just give you a very good indication if we just back it up here and look at the level three bars throughout the day. Rejection of this one acceptance above this one rejection of this one acceptance acceptance in terms of this this low held okay it's very clear indication bulls are in charge so number one you would avoid being on the short side which you know that's rule number one is try to avoid as many losing trades as possible get on the right side of the market number two find ways to get into the market that are that are more high edge and if you can if you can identify which side you want to be on first and foremost that gives you a huge edge a huge edge so again had trouble getting through the resistance a couple times. We finally did. We did so on a level three buying aggression bar. Pretty good indication of a breakout higher. We ask ourselves, can this low hold? You know, obviously a breakout type of trade just gets on board right away. Same thing. Here's another one. Can this low hold? Which it did. We didn't get a full bar below, you can see. And then we had some resistance here. So I guess the point that I'm trying to make with this video is our, our first building block, our first idea is we want to look at these level three 
aggression bars and ask ourselves is there follow through or rejection that and that alone is going to give you a pretty nice uh, edge in terms of the direction the likely direction of the market so rejection of this level three on the low pretty good indication this market's gonna gonna want to move higher you know that the filter can help you out with that as well these resistance and support zones can be very helpful in terms of either targets or places to avoid getting long for example until you have evidence that it's actually breaking through like we had here so again it's all about just trying to utilize different pieces of evidence there's nothing magic nothing uh, you know, it's not black and white it's not robotic you've got to think it through but once you learn to see what you're looking for it can really help you increase your edge help you make better decisions so again just wanted to look at a different market uh, not much going on in the indexes for example if I bring up a, uh, a Russell chart here so this is a Russell again a two-minute chart you can see it just kind of grinded higher we knew obviously heading into the day that we would you know unless we had some very clear evidence that some bears are coming in that you'd want to be on the long side and you can see that our first major we didn't have any level three bars till the cash close which is you know take those with a grain, a grain of salt at the cash close but our first relatively powerful structure of the day was this level two buying aggression bar and you can see that it had quick acceptance above and you can we ask ourselves can the low hold actually the low holds beautifully it decelerated right at the low I mean that's kind of a textbook you know trade opportunity in, in that sense here's another one can the low hold yeah um, you know and obviously our filter strongly bullish the, the whole day so it's again it's if nothing else it's telling you you want to be on the long side there's no reason that you would want to not be on the long side there's no evidence that came in that was showing any kind of bearish activity in terms of uh, uh, there's really not even a uh, there's no level two or level three selling aggression bar at all to work with so I mean it's just telling you clear grind higher by bulls so you know not a lot to work with on an index chart the the ES was even more dead than this so um, you know obviously stay on the right side of the market with with the evidence that you're seeing and then you can look to other markets as well for, for more, more opportunity so um, again quick look at uh, gold quick look at uh, the Russell here if you have any questions about this let us know by all means and um, hope you have a great evening and have a good Friday talk to you soon